Hello, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you again. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the new preview Microsoft Purview portal, which you can access at purview.microsoft.com. I test this out with some confusing results, as you will see in a few moments. Before we get to that, though, please do hit that subscribe button. It does help me so much, as I always say, so uh, hit that button and become a subscriber. It's free to do so. You can also become a member as well. Uh, there are three levels of membership, so please do check them out. Thank you so much. Right, on with the video. Let's take a look at this new preview portal of Microsoft, or is it Purview? So Microsoft Purview has a new home. We have a preview portal, which you can get to at purview.microsoft.com. Now don't fear the existing compliance.microsoft.com portal is still there, still going, and I'm sure it will be for some time, but let's take a look together and explore what this new purview.microsoft.com portal is all about. What have we got in here right now? When you launch it, you get this uh, little um, try now uh, button. So let's see what it's all about. So we can govern and protect the data. Yeah, we like that. Purview has a new look and capabilities. Start your journey with uh, these capabilities, automatically inventory data in Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Fabric. Okay, so we're getting more integration with um, Purview from an Azure point of view. Um, I think of Purview very much as an M365 thing, but there are Azure capabilities uh, in Azure as well. And I think the intention here is to bring all of these together in, in one portal. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got. Explore your data in a searchable data catalog. Um, fantastic. Identify and protect your sensitive and business critical data. Right, well, let's try the new Microsoft Purview out. Let us know what you think by proceeding. You acknowledge the, the terms and policies. Okay, well, we don't wanna show that again. Let's try now and let's see what we've got. Okay, comprehensive data security, governance and compliance for all your data wherever it lives. Let's scroll down first before we click on anything. So we've got some tiles here at the top, a data catalog, knowledge center, settings and view all solutions. Pick up where you left off. Okay, so that'll populate as you start going through things. Recently accessed. We've got a knowledge center there at the bottom. So it's fairly minimalist in terms of the the home page. Uh, let's start going into the, I always like to start with settings. Let's have a look and see what the settings are. We can configure our portal and solution settings. These can also be accessed at any time from the settings icon at the top of the portal, which there we go, we have it. Um, what's this one here, by the way? That's, uh, if we click on that, um, it's telling us to sign in again. Okay, well that's fine, we can do that. Okay, loading, loading, loading. Wonderful. Um, Microsoft Purview Enterprise, I get you. So better coverage and more apps. So upgrade to Microsoft Purview Enterprise to govern, secure, and manage data in multi-cloud and hybrid environments. Also get access to apps uh, across data governance, data security, compliance, and privacy. Learn more. We can upgrade the account. Let's just grab that learn more for later. I'll include that in the links of this video. I don't want to, no, not now. We'll, we'll investigate that later. But I was gonna go into the settings, wasn't I? What have we got? Um, okay, tenant name, account type is free. I can upgrade there. Let's look at my uh, role groups. What have we got? What have we got in here? We've got data catalog curators. We've got data estate, insights readers. What have we got in solutions? We've got um, more settings. Uh, this seems to be a little bit uh, uh, backwards. Settings, settings. Um, where have I seen that before? The old um, Microsoft 365 Admin Center once had that and before they changed it to settings and org settings. All right, let's go through and see what's... Oh, Lord, this is... Um, very uh, perpetual loop, uh, if you like. Um, okay, let's go back. So we don't need to go into settings because we're already in settings. Fine, fine, let's go to data catalog. What have we got in here? Microsoft Azure, Microsoft Fabric. Okay, okay. Um, what have we got in here? We've got the overview, which is what we're in. Browse, source types. Okay, Azure subscriptions, 
business glossary. What are, what are these business glossaries? Uh, starting on October the 10th, well that's come and gone, unless they mean next year, Business Glossary will be available under Data Catalogue. Well, what is what is a glossary? Um, I don't actually know, so we... Uh, something we need to investigate for the future. If any of you know, tell me in the comments, but uh, I need to read up on that. Business Assets. View and manage all your business assets in here uh, for different collections. I'm, I'm starting to get the feel that this, if anything, is more pure Azure and Microsoft Fabric than it actually is in any way related to Microsoft 365 at all. Um, so that's interesting. I had thought that this new purview portal was intended to be more of a unified portal for um, all things purview. But um, uh, this is slightly disappointing, to be honest. Okay, data sharing, shares, we can create shares in here, uh, types, Azure, yeah, it's very Azure um, heavy this, very Azure heavy, um, maybe I need one of my uh, friendly Azure um, colleagues or community heroes to come on and talk to me about this because I am a little bit lost here, so where are we, we're in the data catalog, okay, resources, knowledge center, um, what is Microsoft Purview? It's a very good question. I'm beginning to think I don't actually know. Um, if we learn more, let's open that and have a look. Um, okay, so it's a comprehensive set of solutions that can help you organize, govern, and protect and manage data wherever it lives. Microsoft Purview solutions provide integrated coverage and can help address fragmentation of data across organizations. Fine, fine. That's all well and good. What does it apply to, though? Well, we're talking in the right terms here. We're talking about things that I'm familiar with, data loss prevention, information barriers, information protection, et cetera, et cetera. Um, here we're getting a little bit more into the Azure world with data catalog and data map and that sort of thing. So maybe it's just early days with this. Who knows? We can try, maybe I need to do the training. Developer resources are here. Um, data governance, we can map data here, we can build a glossary, trace data, lineage, explore data, so interesting stuff. Well, let's go back to the home, because we've not got very far, we've just been in the settings, let's, let's click on view all solutions, and... Uh, it's it's not really taking us very much further just now. Uh, what's in the data catalog? We've again we're getting round and round in circles. Explore your data. Microsoft Azure, Azure subscriptions. It's telling me I've got one. So uh, that folks is pretty much just about it. To be honest, I can't really take you any further than that. So. Um, It'll be interesting to see where this goes because it's feeling very, very Azure uh, heavy, which to be fair, it does say on there. But to me, this is Microsoft purview, um, which to me suggests more Microsoft 365 and uh, Microsoft purview within the compliance.microsoft.com portal rather than uh, Azure. But the two are coming closer together, which... I have to admit, it's something that I, I, I do fear a little bit and something I've been a bit critical of in terms of some of the Microsoft exams where you have no choice if you want to pass the security exams. You have to know a bit of M365, but you have to know a fair bit of Azure as well, which if that's not your specialty, if that's not what your area of expertise is, I personally feel there should be separate exams for um, cyber security um, specialities within Microsoft 365 and Azure separately, but there isn't. If you want to get through those exams, as I, as I know to my own chagrin, you have to try and learn a bit of Azure as well, which, uh, to, be quite fr I, to be quite frank, I just don't want to. <laughs> um, but uh, anyhow, that's, that's me. And it's not my cup of tea. There's plenty who will feel the other way. Azure is where they live, where their happy place is, and absolutely perfect, grand, but uh, interesting. Well, let's just go back to the compliance portal, the, 
the one where we can do everything today. And there we go. This is confusing, Microsoft. Welcome to the Microsoft Purview Portal. In here, we've got everything M365 related that I am happy and familiar with. My DLP is here, my e-discovery is here, my data lifecycle management, information protection, all the stuff that I need to get at as a compliance administrator. So um, this I feel is gonna confuse, uh, but it is in preview. So I think let's just keep an eye on it and see where it goes. There you go. That's it, thank you so much as always. Let me know what you think about this new preview portal. It's early days to be fair with it. I um, I went into it blind, as you can tell from the video. It was the first time I was looking at it and sharing that experience of unboxing it, if you like, with you as I experienced it. And I was expecting a lot more Microsoft features in there rather than Azure and Microsoft Fabric, but maybe the intent is to build that out over time. We shall see, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, please. Do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and uh, consider becoming a subscriber and a member. And I will see you on the next video very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.